Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a MacBook. This is a MacBook Pro, the model A1398. This is an Intel version 2013 iCore 7 4750, a 15-inch model. And in this video I'm going to do a quick video how to replace the bottom legs or bottom feet of the laptop. If yours is broken up like this one here, I'll put something in the middle to focus. I don't have anything right now. I'll put this SSD. There you go. So to replace this one, I'm going to show you guys this one is actually really broken. You can see it's, it looked really horrible. So we, I'm going to show you a nice, really easy way to do it. And I'll leave the link for the new rubber feet in the video description so you can purchase yours. All right. So first thing first, we're going to remove the bottom cover. We're going to grab ourselves the screwdriver set. I'll be using I fix the screwdriver set as they have all the bits that you need. We're going to use a T5. And we're going to remove all the screws on the bottom cover, but not all the screws are the same size. These screws at the back here, these are a different size screws. They don't have a little neck at them. I call them a neck or riser because if you look at them, all the threads goes all the way to the back. If you remove one of the other ones, you're going to see the threads end up halfway through and there's a little riser on it. So they're different. So remove these two mid back and keep them in a separate pile. And Start removing the rest of them and keep them in a separate pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and support the channel to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. Now that we remove this bottom cover, we're gonna work in here. So let's go ahead and remove the laptop from here. Okay, right over here we see we have a little double-sided adhesive tape in here. So let's go ahead and remove that. To remove that, I'm going to put a little alcohol, 99% alcohol, isopropolic. You can use a little spatula or guitar pick to try to remove this adhesive. Just lift it up in 45 degree angle to you. The adhesive, it will come back on. Now we're going to remove puncture through here and remove this old thing in there. So we're going to do that for every corner. If you don't want to go here to just remove this one, it's too much hassle, just puncture through mid. And if he's going to pop this one out, just puncture right through there. And there we go. You can remove it. Same thing in here. Too much hassle, just puncture through it. If you, and I see if you want to take your time removing this adhesive, it's really hard. Now, once we remove it, we need to clean up this old adhesive that they have in here. And that can be cleaned up by an isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. This one is almost doesn't have any. So we're going to put an alcohol in there. And we're going to just rub it. Do it with your finger a little bit so it doesn't absorb alcohol. If you use a towel, it's going to absorb the alcohol. And it's not going to do a great job. So put your finger in there and just rub it like this. Uh, once you're done, you can just go ahead and grab another towel and clean it off. I think like the old one that it fell off, it has a little, it's shiny. So that means the adhesive is still there. So I'm going to grab a little color. This color, I'm going to try to see. Yep. It is it, it's still there. So we're going to, we need to lift up everything. So we're going to lift up the old double-sided adhesive that it has from the old feet that they, it had it. So go ahead and remove it. Definitely the alcohol it will help you to remove it really easy. I'm gonna do a second pass with an alcohol, make sure that it's nice and clean so the new adhesive will grab to it really good. Now we're gonna Grab our new and his new feet, laptop feet, and we are gonna peel it off from here. It does have a little adhesive. You see, they have a little tiny hole in there. In here, they have a little tiny secondary hole. I'll try not to touch it too much, and you want to put it right on top. 
and you just want to push it in the in the center and there we go do the same thing for all of them there we have it now if you want to oh i throw them out actually if you want you can put a little tape in here i like to put a gaffer or captain tape i like this captain tape is much better and is new so you can put a little captain tape over in on the corners it protects them nicely it stick to it better than the one that they had and that's it now we're going to grab the laptop and we're going to put the cover on top and it looks much better already it was looking ugly you're gonna put remember the two tiny screws in the back mid and then it's very important to don't tighten up the screws right away don't go crazy and tightening them up otherwise you're gonna shift the bottom plate a little bit and then you're gonna get this kind of wavy thing on the bottom cover always try to cross screw them and put the let me get this one again to focus so put the screws a little bit inward, don't tighten them up at all. Just go across in every corner. And then once you have every corner and every screw placed in there, and then go from the one side and start tightening them up a little bit. Don't force them too much. These screws are really fragile. So again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them in a, as soon as I can. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screw.